Hello friends, uh, welcome back to VLSI Fab. VLSI Fab is extremely sorry for not uploading videos in last couple of months uh, due to some personal issue. So this video I made mainly for BTEC freshers. Uh, this is a very simple and short video, but the like the gates are the core of or like or you can say heart of digital design. So without this, you cannot make a simple calculator. Like if you want to make even a simple calculator, you need only a binary adder. So it add simply adds binary. Okay, so binary adder made from half adder and full adder, which also are made from logic gates. So I guess you have understood the importance of this topic. So let's start the video without wasting time. We will discuss here how gates are taken in different steps and how its representation in different steps. Like in starting any logic that contains logic gates always written in HDLs. HDLs such as Verilog or VHDL are coded using gates and complex cells. For example, suppose a uh, full adder is coded in some kind of HDL adder in Verilog or VHDL, then it will be synthesized using cadence or synopsis synthesis tool such as uh, Genus or Design Compiler. Uh, for synthesis, I have already uh, given videos in my channel. Uh, you can check in details. So synthesis netlist means gate level netlist. It contains all the gate level information and the connection between the gates it can be flat or hierarchical so difference is like flat netlist contains only one module with all the information whether hierarchical netlist contains a number of modules and these modules are being called by one module and uh, once the synthesis is completed we take it to physical design like where we map all the gates to standard cell library uh, for example like and a N gate or OR gate, all the gates having their own standard cells, and we use these cells directly to implement the design. So, what is logic gate? So, a logic gate is a kind of the basic building block of a digital circuit having two inputs and one output. Like the input and output relationship is based on a certain logic. So, these gates are implemented using electronic switches such as diode transistors but like in practice the basic logic gates are built using CMOS technology MOSFET or FET so logic gates are used in microcontrollers microprocessors electronic and electrical project circuits and embedded system applications the basic logic gates are categorized uh, into seven types as like AND gate OR gate XOR, NAN, NOR, XNOR, and NOT gate. So, like these are the important digital uh, devices mainly based on the Boolean function. So, logic gates are used to carry out the logical operations on single or multiple binary inputs and results in one binary output. So, in simple words, logic gates are the electronic circuits in a digital system. We will discuss why NAND gate and NOR gates are called universal gates later in details. But as of now, I'm just saying like uh, these are called universal gates because like they can like realize all the bi binary operations and all the basic logic gates can be derived from them. So before going to discuss all the gates in details, I will just flash out like which uh, uh, like for which modules we use these uh, logic gates like. We use uh, we use logic gates for to build adder, subtractor, encoder, decoder, mux, demux, complex cell. So all this we to build all these uh, modules we use logic gates. So uh, first gate is N gate. So N gate is an electronic circuit that gives a high output for that one only if all the inputs are high. Like a dot is used to show the end operation. For that, suppose input is A and B, so out like uh, it will be represented as, represented as A dot B, and the output is C. Suppose, okay. So bear in mind that this dot sometimes omitted, and suppose it may be written as A B. So uh, you can see in the truth table. So if it is zero zero, if both both the inputs are low, 
output C will be also low, 0. It will be high only when input A and B will be 1 and 1. So, this is the end gate. So, basically, it represents the multiplication. So, next gate is OR gate. So, the OR gate uh, like is an electronic circuit that gives a high output 1 if one or more of its inputs are high like and uh, a plus symbol is used to show the or operation okay so you can see at the truth table output q will be high for that one if any of the inputs of a and b if it is one then only the output will be one so like you can say it, is, it will be next gate is not gate so the NOT gate is an electronic circuit that uh, like produces an inverted version of the input uh, like at the at its output. So if you are giving input high or input 1 then you will get a output low or input output 0. So like it will be like it is also known as inverter. So like if the input variable is A then the out inverted output is known as NOT of A not means it is a inverted of a so this is the nan gate so this is a not and gate like not and and gate combination of not and and gate which is equal to an and gate followed by a not gate like the outputs of all the not nan gates are high if any of the inputs are low so you can see in the truth table like uh, it will be high like for one if A or B, any of the A or B inputs are low, then only it will be high. So, uh, the like the symbol is an N gate with a small circle on the output. So, the, this small circle represents the inversion. And also, as I already mentioned, this NAND gate we can use to uh, like to build any gates for that OR gate, N gate. We can build any gate using the NAND gates. So this is a universal gates and in my last slides I have also shown like uh, how this NAND gate we can use to build uh, all the gates. So this is a NOR gate. So this is a NOT and this is a combination of NOT and OR gate which is equal to an OR gate followed by a NOT gate. So uh, like the outputs of all the NOR gates are low if any of the inputs are high. So you can see if any of the inputs of A and B are high, then output is low. So uh, like the symbol is an OR gate with a small circle on the output. This small circle represents the inversion. And also as I mentioned, uh, this NOR gate also we can uh, like it is also called as universal gates. So using these NOR gates, we can build uh, any any type of gates. So in my last slides also I have uh, shown like how we can build all the gates using the NOR gates. So this is a XOR gate. So XOR means the exclusive OR gate. This is a like this exclusive OR gate is a uh, it is a circuit which will give a high output if either but not the both of its two inputs are high. So like uh, one of the inputs should be 1 then only output will be high or 1 if both the but both if both the inputs are high then the output will be low so an n circle like it is a plus sign n circle plus sign is used to show the uh, ur operation like exclusive or operation so last is x nor gate so exclusive nor gate, nor gate circuit does the opposite to the XOR gate so it will give a low output if either but not the not both of its in two inputs are high so the symbol is an XOR gate with a small circle on the output so you can see uh, it is high the output of the XOR gate is high only when both the inputs are either in 0 or in 1 so this uh, and the symbol represents uh, by the same XOR gate but the one small circle will be encircled at the output so this small circle represents the inversion 
and as I already mentioned, NAND gates are called universal gates. Uh, so these are the like diagrams like how we can uh, build any gates using the NAND gates. So you can see, first of all, I have made AND gates using NAND gate, then OR gate, then XOR, then XNOR, then NOR. All the gates uh, we have built using the NAND gates. So these are called universal gates. And uh, same way, these are the uh, NOR gates using as a universal gate. So you can see, uh, we can build all the gates using the NOR gates, like OR gate, AND gate, XOR, XNOR, and NAND gates. So guys, uh, this is a simple video I have made just to fresh up your uh, concepts and uh, I will be like making other, I will be parallelly making all the VLSI related videos and will be uploading very soon. Thank you guys uh, for like uh, for supporting VLSI Fab and thank you guys.